Bonita. There you go. There ain't no way that's a bonita. Okay. Mm. We'll see. Okay. All right, what's going on, everybody? Good morning, and welcome back to another episode. It is about 3 a.m. right now. I'm about to get everything loaded up. We are going to head over, pick up Beach Bum, and we are going to Okaloosa Island Pier this morning. Going to try to get there by daylight, see if we can't get on the early morning tarpon bite. Got everything rigged up for some kings as well, see what all we can get on. Got all the setups rigged up last night, but I'm going to go ahead and get loaded up. We're going to run over, pick up Beach Bum, and we are going to get on the road. It's about a two hour drive, so it's about 3 a.m. Hoping to get there about five or so. But anyways, hope you all enjoy this video. Let's go. All right, guys, we are pulling up to Beach Bum's house right now. Let's make sure he's awake. Ah, <laughs> oh, there he is, there he is. <laughs> hope we didn't wake the neighbors. Dude, it's like two in the morning. You got kids, man. You know how this crap goes. We gotta get on the road, man. I was trying to make sure you're ready. Oh, we got a long drive ahead of us. Freaking horn. Good gracious. Sorry, man. I'm just excited to get out there. Dude, there's so many. Eat the freaking spoon. The spoon ain't doing it for him this morning. <laughs> First fish on of the morning. Come on. See if we can get him up. Oh, big boom boom. Come on. Get up, boy. Get up. Uh, we'll see if you got a gaff handy, we can gaff him. Uh, you got a little bit of uh, yeah. Small. Try to winch him up here. Uh, coming over. Finally on the board. First fish of the morning for me. Nice little bonita. See if we can snag another. The last bonita broke the bill off of this Yozuri here, so it's kind of just skipping over the top of the water, but let's see if they'll still eat it. All right, guys, we're gonna do some live bait now and drop this ribbon down. See if we can get some live bait for these bonita. You want bait? Uh, yeah, I'll take one. Appreciate it, man. All right, we got a live El here. We're gonna hook them right through the eyes. Go over on this side, drop them down. Watch them get smoked. Yeah, Lena. Dude, there's so many down there. Come on, there he is. There he is. Got him. Got him. Dang it. Ah, I can snap me off. Alright, guys, reach out here and drop another live bait down. Hook him through the eye. Let's see if we can land one this time. Oh, there they are. There they are. There ain't no way that's a bonita. Mm. Let's see. That's something good. Let's see what we got. Finally did it, Landon. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I was off the boat. It was 32 after being bled out and sitting on ice all day. First one landed though. Oh really? Yeah. That's a nice Surprised it didn't break me off yet. It's gotta be a shark, but I'm surprised it didn't get broke off. The motto. Yeah, whatever it is, it just gave up now. Just dragging in dead weight. Come on, uh, come on down to the corner, man. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. yeah. Or another giant king. <laughs> just gave awesome. up. Yeah, I mean... Uh -oh. Damn it! Freaking pulled it. I think so. Uh, maybe not. I felt it for a minute. Yeah, I got my leader. 80. Yeah, afraid it, it had to have been a shark though. Oh, yeah, L-Y. Yeah. Cut my leader, probably. I never saw it. We'll call it a shark. All right. Retie again. Unless he came in, that was too short. Did you see it? I saw it roll, yeah. I 
Yeah. Freaking turn. Did he? Oh, come on, we're out in front of him. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's coming at it. He's coming at it. There he is. There he is. Oh, he dropped it. Dang it. Freaking ate it too. I know you did. That was the first one we've actually got to try to eat. The other ones so far have not paid any attention to it. But all right, guys, tarpon have been coming through pretty regularly here now. We've not been coming in huge piles. We've been getting two or three at a time here. They seem a little interested. We just have not gotten hooked up yet. Right now, I'm throwing this black and silver. This is a three-ounce hoagie swim bait. So hopefully, we get some more come through. Get some more opportunities. No, Grant's not gonna catch one. Well, you haven't caught shit either. So. <laughs> uh, we're gonna wait it out, see if we can get some more to come through. Then. Got one tarpon right here. Come on. He thought about it. I had one eat it and spit it. That shark definitely got him going somewhere else. Big Bonita blitz this morning. Oh, thanks, I threw on one almost to the beach. I said I threw on one almost at the beach. Really? On the way down there, he turned and looked at it and then hauled ass out. Just one? Yeah. Hey, right here, right here, right here. Right here on the grass. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He just came right on the grass. I don't know where he went. Right there. Yep. It's coming back too. Pretty sure he just went under. There he is, there he is. Come on. Come on. That's probably that might have been that tarpon. It was huge. Yeah, there's a tarpon. It was huge. Holy hell. Alright, what is going on everybody? I just want to kind of fill y'all in on everything that's going on. I know a lot of y'all have seen my post through social media. The post I made the other day over on the community tab here on YouTube. I just wanted to fill everybody in on the situation, kind of where we're at with things right now and kind of what's transpired over the last few days. Like I said, many of y'all know my wife and I just had our third baby just the other day. It was, today is Sunday the, the 8th and he was born on Wednesday the 4th. Um, so Tuesday the 3rd, my wife and I went in for a 36 week, uh, 36 week checkup with the baby doctor. Uh, he did an ultrasound and all that. And in the ultrasound, the baby was measuring a head. He was measuring big. Um, so we had talked about kind of what we may do in the future and all that. And because he was measuring big at 36 weeks, they decided that if she did not go into labor by 38 weeks, he would probably just go ahead and induce her. I didn't want to end up with a 10 pound baby or anything like that. So that was Tuesday the 3rd. Uh, they did give her a shot that was going to help kind of boost things for the baby if he did go early. Help his lungs and all that kind of stuff. He was supposed to get two rounds of that. He got one on the 3rd. Well that night, the, the night of the 3rd, Tuesday the 3rd, uh, my wife did start having some contractions and stuff like that. She kind of monitored them throughout the evening and into the night and about 1 o'clock, 1.30 Wednesday morning, uh, she woke me up. She said, uh, Cameron, my brother-in-law, is on the way over and we're going to the hospital. So Wednesday morning, we headed to the hospital. We got there about 2 o'clock or so. Go into the ER, take us up to a room, all the good stuff. Um, and when we get up there, they check her, she's dilating, she was like a four or five, and they basically said we're having a baby. So Wednesday the 4th, like I said we got there at two o'clock, she, she transitions pretty quick through the all the stuff, and so at 5.58 Wednesday morning, so at 5.58 a.m. Wednesday morning, my son was born, he was four weeks early. He did still weigh seven pounds, two ounces, uh, so pretty big for four weeks early, not really any concern as far as the weight goes. The delivery and everything went great, everything was fine. Um, after they did all the stuff, he was able to do skin to skin with my wife. She did get to breastfeed for a little bit, everything was going good. And then the nurse came in 
and uh, I guess just from the way he was breathing or something, she could tell something was a little off. So they ended up taking him, taking him back to the nursery and all that, seeing the pediatrician or the, the doctor that was there at the time. And uh, they went ahead and decided to put him on oxygen. So he was on oxygen at the, the local hospital here in Gulf Shores. And so that point in time, we, we kind of thought he may just be on it for a little bit, kind of help him transition because it was a little early. Didn't really know what to expect or what was going to transpire. And so throughout all of that Wednesday, I um, mean, he was kind of just on oxygen. We, we were able to go in and see him in the nursery from time to time. So that was good. We still got to see him, but weren't able to hold him anymore. And then uh, throughout the night, that night, Wednesday night, he didn't do as well. Um, so Thursday morning, the doctor came in, woke us up, and said that they made the decision that he needed to be transferred. Uh, that they were going to transfer him to a, the children's hospital which is about an hour or so away, and that he'd be in the NICU. And, uh, and they wanted to do that, not that there was like anything terribly wrong with him at the time. I mean, he was struggling with his oxygen and his breathing, but that was to be expected being four weeks early. But in case anything did get worse or he went downhill, uh, they didn't really have the means to, to care for him if it did get worse at the hospital. So... Going to the NICU at the Children's Hospital was going to be best for him in case things did get worse. So that was Thursday morning. Uh, they put him in an ambulance, transferred him over there. Uh, not long after that, my wife got discharged and we went ahead and headed over to the Children's Hospital. So then when we got over there, it ended up being later Thursday afternoon. Uh, he, he was doing pretty good. He was doing better than when he left. Uh, that. Thursday morning uh, when he left Wednesday night Thursday morning they had him up to like 45 percent oxygen and then by the time he got um, to the children's hospital and kind of into the NICU and all that they were able to get him down to 39 percent oxygen uh, which was good and then luckily because it is such a far drive over there they do have a Ronald McDonald house um, we were eligible because of distance to get in there, so my wife and I. It's a foundation that will allow families to stay closer if they are within a certain uh, distance from the hospital. Of course, with all the things going on right now, only my, my wife and I could go. My kids aren't able to go over there. <laughs> my kids are not able to go over there and see them yet, but uh, so we got checked into there. Kind of hard to remember all these time frames now, honestly, but so that was Thursday night. Into Friday, he started doing better. They were able to drop his oxygen a little more. Friday, I think they had his oxygen down to, I want to say like 30, 31, something like that, which is good. We're slowly bringing it down. His respiratory rate was still a little high. Into Saturday, yes, Saturday, we got in there. And, or no, Friday night, yes, Friday night, they were able to bring him down to 21. And they were going to see, they kept him on the oxygen at 21 is the same, I guess, oxygen we get in the room or just normal air. So then Saturday morning we get in there, we weren't really sure what to expect. And um, he was doing pretty well, keeping him on the 21% oxygen. And so they decided, the respiratory guy came in there uh, around lunchtime Saturday, which was yesterday. Decided he was doing pretty well on that and they took the oxygen off, which was a huge step. So I got that off around lunchtime yesterday. Throughout most of the day yesterday, he was doing pretty well. There was a little boy, little bit of point in time where his respiratory got a little quick. They thought they may have to put him back on oxygen, uh, but he was able to do fine. So they kept him off of it all day yesterday, and then into this morning, this morning being Sunday, um, he went back, we went back in there. He was still off the oxygen, which is good. He was just on room air. Um, but they did have him on the blue lights for his bilirubin. Uh, his levels did get a little higher, nothing too concerning. Uh, but they did want him under that light just to, I guess, break up the bilirubin, whatever all that does. I don't really know. Uh, so he's going to be on that for 24 hours, which will be tomorrow morning. And then hopefully they can take him off of that if his levels are good. That will allow my wife to hopefully start breastfeeding some then. Um... I do have to go back to work tomorrow, which is Monday, which is probably the day you're watching this video. 
So I am back in Gulf Shores with my kids. My mom did come down to help out with them. Uh, but my wife is going to be over at the Children's Hospital taking care of her son. So if there's any other updates as far as tomorrow or anything past this point, um, we will be posting those throughout Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. So I appreciate all the comments, the messages, the prayers, everything that y'all have done so far. We greatly appreciate it. But I just want to kind of update y'all on where we're at and kind of things moving forward. Uh, we're hoping that things are going to go good today and to tomorrow and potentially get to bring him home sometime in the middle of the week. Uh, but again, I'll, I'll be posting on social media and all that. So, so as soon as we're able to bring him home, of course, there will be pictures and everything like that. And I'm sure in another future video, I'll be posting something as well. But yeah, I just want to say thank you all for the support, the comments, the messages, the text, everything. It really means a lot. But uh, just want to fill you all in with everything going on. So uh, hope you all enjoyed a little bit of fishing, a little bit of life update. Please subscribe if you're not already. We are definitely on the road to 10,000 by the end of the year. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. And until next time, y'all take care.